In this video, we can discuss about different sterilization method. We had already discussed about different sterilization method like sunlight and dry heat sterilization method in previous video. Here, we will discuss the rest of the method. Now, coming to the most heat sterilization method. The main difference between dry heat sterilization and most heat sterilization is in dry heat sterilization, we will use the heat that is produced from flame or from a heating coil will be directly make contact with the substance to be sterilized. But in case of moist heat sterilization, we will use the moist or water vapor with higher temperature will be used for the sterilization process. Now, moist heat sterilization method can be performed at below 100 degrees Celsius, at 100 degrees Celsius and above 100 degrees Celsius. At below 100 degrees Celsius, we can perform by pasteurization milk method, incipitation method or vaccine bath method. At 100 degrees Celsius, we can perform by boiling, tindalization and steam sterilization method. And above 100 degrees Celsius, we can perform by steam under pressure or by using autoclave. Now coming to the first method at below 100 degrees Celsius, the first method is pasteurization of milk. This can be done by two method, either holder method or flash method. In holder method, the substance to be sterilized is heated for 63 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes followed by a quick cooling to 13 degrees Celsius. But in case of flash method, we will heat the substance to be sterilized for 72 degrees Celsius for a 20 second and followed by a quick cooling to 13 degrees Celsius. This method is mainly used to destroy all the non sporing pathogens like mycobacterium, brucellin and salmonella. Now coming to the second method incipitation. This is done by heating 80 to 85 degrees Celsius for half an hour daily for three consecutive days. And this method is mainly used to sterilize the serum and egg media and sterilization of different media such as Lovistan Jensen and Lofer serum media. Now coming to third method vaccine bath. This is done by heating at 60 degrees Celsius for half an hour daily in vaccine bath for several successive days. This method is mainly used for the sterilization of serum or body fluid by heating at 56 degrees Celsius for half an hour daily for several successive days. Now coming to second method, temperature at 100 degrees Celsius. First method is by boiling. In this method, we will boil the substance to be sterilized like liquid media or uh, liquid solution uh, for 10 to 30 minutes. So this can be used for sterilization of which containing vegetatives form. But uh, spore forming microorganism will withstand the boiling. It will be resistant towards the boiling. Now coming to the second method, tindalization. This is done at steam at 100 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes on three successive days. The principle of this method is on first exposure, it will kill all the vegetative bacteria. But during the storage, it will give a favorable conditions for the spore which are present in the media so that the spore will get germinated. So on second exposure, the germinated uh, bacteria will destroy it. So this is the uh, principle of tindalization. This is mainly used for the sterilization of egg and serum and sugar containing media. Now coming to third method steam sterilization, steam at 100 degrees Celsius for 90 minutes. This is mainly used for the sterilization of media which are not decomposed at high temperature. Now coming to the third method temperature above 100 degrees Celsius that is moisture sterilization under the pressure. Uh, the equipment used for this method is autoclave. So in this we have to explain the principle, construction, working and applications of autoclave. 
Now coming to the principle of water flow. As we all know, the water will boil when its vapor pressure equal to the surrounding atmospheric pressure. So usually at the boiling point, the vapor pressure will be equal to the atmospheric pressure. In normal atmospheric pressure, it is 100 degrees Celsius. So if you are increasing the heat 100 above also, the boiling point of water will not be changed. So in order to increase the boiling point of water, we will change the atmospheric pressure. In order to increase the atmospheric pressure, we will keep the water inside a closed vessel and thereby we can increase the atmospheric pressure thereby we can increase the vapor pressure so that it will increases the boiling point of water why we are preferring this method because saturated steam have more penetrating power than the normal steam so when steam come in contact with the cooler surface it will condense to the water and give its latent heat to the surface. So steam above 100 have a better killing power than dry heat sterilization. Sterilization by steam under pressure is carried out at the temperature between 108 and 147 degrees Celsius. Aqua solutions are sterilized between uh, 108 and 126 degrees Celsius. Heat is conducted through the walls of sealed container until the temperature of the fluid inside the same as that of the steam outside. Bacteria are more susceptible to the moist heat. Now coming to the uh, construction of autoclave. Uh, autoclave may be either vertical or horizontal uh, which are made up of gunmetal or stainless steel and it have a lid uh, which can be fastened by screw clamps and rendered airtight by asbestos washer and lid bears a discharge tap of air steam and pressure cage and safety valve and heating is by gas or electricity so this is a uh, ideal structure of an autoclave this is an vertical autoclave made up of stainless steel there is an heating element and above this a perforated bottom plate is there above that we can uh, place the uh, grid packet in which we can place the different material to be sterilized and the lid consists of an air removal valve and thermometer a safety valve a pressure gauge and screw cap for this lid now coming to the working first we have to fill the sufficient water up to the level then we have to place the material to be sterilized in the tray then we have to switch off the heater then uh, lid is to be screw tight with the discharge tub open and we have to set the required pressure steam air mixture is allowed to escape freely till all the air has been escaped and when no more air bubble come out in the pile uh, the discharge tap is closed the steam pressure rises inside and when it reaches the desired level the safety valve open and excess steam escape from this point holding period is calculated so when holding period is over it is turned off the heater and allowed to cool till the pressure gauge indicating the pressure inside equal to the atmospheric pressure so here we have to note two things so if tap is opened when pressure inside is high, liquid media will tend to boil violently and spill from the container and sometimes a chance for explosion. If it is opened after falling below atmospheric pressure, excessive amount of water would have been uh, evaporated and lost from the media. This is a vertical autoclave and this is a horizontal autoclave. Now coming to the different sterilization conditions. According to the changing pressure inside the autoclave, we can increase the temperature of sterilization. So if you are using zero or uh, at atmospheric pressure, the temperature will be 100 degrees Celsius. So if we are increasing the uh, pressure to 5 Pascal, it will increase temperature to 110. If we increase to 10, then 116, 15, 121. Usual uh, condition for sterilization is 15 uh, pressure 121 degree celsius for 15 to 20 minutes now if you are increasing to 20 it will increase the temperature to 126 and if you are increasing to 30 it will increase the pressure to 135 degree celsius
Now coming to application of autoclave, this can be mainly used for the sterilization of different material which will withstand high temperature. And these are mainly used for sterilization of culture media, rubber material, gowns, dressing and gloves, various type of surgical dressing, gauze and sutures, and different host of IV applicators, equipment, solution and syringes and different transfusion equipments and a large number of alleled items that can conveniently withstand high pressure and temperature. So when a large industrial premises make use of autoclave it is known as retorts and if we are using in domestic application we can use by simple pressure cooker for the steam sterilization. Now let's see what are the sterilization controls of autoclave. Uh, we can use thermocouples to determine the physical changing temperature of different area of autoclave and we can use bacillus stereothermophilus spores uh, as a biological indicator so as we mentioned in dry heat sterilization we have to keep paper strips impregnated with the bacillus stereothermophilus uh, which is well packed along with the substance to be sterilized and after sterilization we have to take the paper strip and we have to place in culture media so after the incubation period if there is any growth that indicate the sterilization is failure it cannot uh, uh, kill all the spore forming microorganism so if do not show any growth it indicates the uh, successful sterilization of by the instrument also we can use browns too uh, which will produce a black spot it's an ready-madely available chemical indicator used for the monitoring of uh, autoclave and also we can use autoclave taps.